Ayan and Nicole Vlog! Today, I am going to discuss the different types of variables that you can use in quantitative research. Being familiar with these variables will help you as a researcher to know the limitations of your study. Without further ado, let's begin the research time! According to Fantato, Bombita, Boholano, and Kogoy 2016, Variable is a measurable characteristic of nature that changes in value within a study. It can vary from one group to another group, one person to another, or even with the same person over time. Also, it is anything that can affect or change the results of the study. There are four types of variables. This includes continuous variable, discrete variable, Dependent variable and dependent variable. Let's start with continuous variable. It is a variable that can take infinite number on the value occur within a population. It can take almost any numeric value and can be meaningfully divided into smaller increments, including fractional and decimal values. Examples of continuous variable are age weight, height, and temperature. There are two kinds of continuous variable. This includes interval variable and ratio variable. First kind of continuous variable is interval variable. It is a measurement where the difference between two values does have meaning. It is a measurement that is used to define values measured along a scale with each point placed at an equal distance from one another. Arithmetic operations can be performed on the numerical values of the interval variable, but just limited to addition and subtraction. Examples of interval variable are temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit, time, generation age range, and IQ test. Second kind of continuous variable is ratio variable. It possesses the properties of interval variable and has clear definition of zero, indication that there is none of that variable. The zero point makes it possible to measure multiple values and perform multiplication and division operations. absolute point characteristics of the ratio variable, it doesn't have a negative number like an interval variable. All statistical analysis, including mean, median, and mode, can be calculated on the ratio scale. Examples of ratio variable are temperature in Kelvin, weight, height, and dose amount. discrete variable. It is a variable that has limited number of distinct values and which cannot be divided into fractions. It is also known as categorical or classificatory variable. Examples of discrete variables are gender, blood group, number of children, and single status. There are two kinds of discrete variable. This includes nominal variable and ordinal variable. First kind of discrete variable is nominal variable. It is a variable with no quantitative value. It has two or more categories but does not imply ordering of cases. It is qualitative which means numbers are used here only to categorize or identify objects. It can also take quantitative values, but these values do not have numeric properties. That's why arithmetic operations cannot be performed on them. Examples of nominal variable are gender, religion, and civil status. Second kind of discrete variable is ordinal variable. It is a variable that has two or more categories which can be ranked. They are built upon nominal scales, 
by assigning number to objects to reflect a rank for ordering on an attribute. Examples of nominal variable are level of agreement, level of satisfaction, and socioeconomic status. Next type of variable is the independent variable. It is a variable that is presumed to cause changes in another variable. It is the variable that is manipulated or changed to measure the effect of this change on other variable. It is also known as causal variable. And last type of variable is the dependent variable. It is a variable that changes because of another variable. It is also known as outcome variable. Examples of independent and dependent variable are effects of sleep deprivation to academic performance. Sleep deprivation as the independent variable and academic performance as the dependent variable. Another, effects of family moral support to student self-confidence. Family support as the independent variable and student self-confidence as dependent variable. And that's all the types of variable in quantitative research. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching guys!